Hi leaders and welcome to our first leader training. Um, we did this through Zoom, live Zoom call already, but unfortunately Zoom did not record the session. So I wanted to create this video for those who couldn't sit in that night. Um, and then for those maybe who have leaders in the future that want to view this content. So I hope that it's super, super helpful for you. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback, what you learned, what you loved, what you'd like to hear for future trainings. Um, and then maybe if you have tips or tricks about the topic that we are covering today. So for this first training, we're talking all about um, how to make the most of your Young Living Month. Um, the hope is to really make this super simple, to give you some step-by-step um, -step tasks that you can do uh, weekly that you can cover monthly uh, to make this business super doable with the time that you have. So just a little bit about my heart behind starting these monthly leader trainings. Um, a, it's a little selfish. You guys are seriously all over the country. Um, and my love language is quality time. So I miss having um, a local team with leaders that I can sit down with over coffee, uh, that we can chat with regularly and see face-to-face. -face. So I love the face-to-face -face interaction of the Zoom call um, where we get to talk, you guys get to give feedbacks, you get to share um, your questions and experiences. So I hope that you'll join us next month for that live version because it's super awesome just to have that face-to-face -face interaction with other leaders. Um, the, se the second thing is so many of you have expressed wanting to make this business work for your families. Um, but just not feeling like maybe that you have the mental space or the time to put in the work that this business requires. Um, and so my hope is to encourage one another through these calls, provide resources that make it super doable, and then teach you how to confidently move forward with whatever amount of time that you can give. Because we all know, I mean, there are, there are gold, platinum, diamond leaders, there are royal crown diamond leaders with tons of kids, with um, full work schedules, um, with all the things so we can make this work with whatever time that we have so that's our goal is to really start um, making the most of whatever time that we can offer um, so before we dive into the checklist today I hope that um, you guys all received your email with the checklist if you are on this call today and you're like what checklist um, shoot me an email shoot me a Facebook message a text and I will make sure that you have this checklist it's also in our team Google Drive if you don't know what the Google Drive is definitely ask me ask your leader it's packed full of resources of scripts of graphics of um, business training materials you can use to help your leaders it's got a ton of information um, that's organized to make this even more doable. It's just another resource that we've provided to make this really easy. So if you don't know about either of those two things, definitely message me or your leader and we can make sure that you have those. Um, but before we dive into that checklist today, um, that's what we're, we're really going to cover. I first want to share about a Bible study that I did a few years ago that really equipped me um, to, in a unique way, to be a little bit more successful in this business. Um, it's called The Best Yes by Lisa Turkhurst. I know a few of you have already done this. She has a book and then she has a study that you can do um, by yourself or with a group. It's really fun if you do it with a group. Um, but we have lots of dominant yellows in our team. Um, I'm a dominant yellow, um, but I know that this can relate to a lot of different color personalities. Um, and so that means that we can struggle with uh, people pleasing, with the guilt of disappointing others, um, things like that. And so for me, I found myself in a season of saying yes to a lot of things, um, a lot of good things, but it was just too many things. I was giving maybe 20% of myself in so many different areas that nothing was able to get a like, quality portion of me. Um, it was exhausting and soul draining, and maybe that's where you are right now. Maybe you've said yes out of obligation instead of conviction or passion, and um, it's anything but life-giving. If so, get your hands on this book or this Bible study. Um, it's so, so good. Uh, the principles really freed me up to say my best yeses, yeses to things that I felt the Lord was calling me to out of my giftings and the season that my family's in, and then the freedom to say no to those things um, that weren't in that arena so that I could give more of myself to what he had planned. And for me, this business, um, the Lord has made it evident that he has given us this business, that he has um, blessed us with this business opportunity. Um, if it, I know in my heart that it's um, something that he wants us to pursue. He's opening doors um, 
to share with people about him and um, just, just so many things, so many things beyond um, providing financially for my family. And so um, I had to say no to some other things in our life, some good things to make room and space um, to really do this business well. So if that's where you are, I hope, um, and that can, that can apply to, to any part of your life, um, not just the business. So if that's where you are, I hope that you'll kind of dig into that resource and see um, if that's helpful. Um, I lost my notes really quickly here. Let me find them and pull them up for you guys. Let's see. Let's find them on our desktop. Let's see. You know how that always goes. You lose your stuff. Okay, so um, if you've been around long or you've hung out in game plan, you've heard us talk about the importance of choosing three tasks every day uh, for your business. So most of us have a lunch hour, maybe we have nap time, um, maybe you have 30 minutes in the car. Whatever your work hours are for Young Living, um, we want to make sure that we are ready when that time comes with a list of things to do, of things that are... Um, really important for our business, things that are income producing, um, so that we can make the most of the time that we give. So for me, this looks like sitting down with my planner for seriously like five minutes before the next day and just choosing the three most important tasks for my business um, for the next day. So I know that I can't do anything else business-wise until those three things get accomplished. I love using the Passion Planner. Um, I kind of give you guys a little look into this. So... Um, this is what the passion planner looks like. This is the week view and it just gives you um, 30 minute increments to like list out your day. It gives you a section for um, the most important things for the week that are personal and uh, business wise and then gives you a space to write notes. So I know that I have um, maybe if my baby naps, I might have an hour and a half or two hours during nap time to do work. And then I also dedicate a little bit of time after my daughter goes to bed to work. So I know those little windows of what I can do. So the day before, the night before, I take like five minutes and I look at my checklist, I look at my income producing activities list, whatever you're looking at, um, and I choose three things that are the most important for my business for that day and I write those down. So that way when nap time comes, I'm not like looking around wondering like what do I need to be doing, what's important. I can open my planner and immediately know um, where I need to go and what I need to do. So um, that's my that's my number one tip, right? You choose your three things, and that can be for your personal life too. I love doing this for my personal life, um, whether you're talking like appointments or errands or whatever, the school stuff for your kids, whatever that might be. Choosing the three things that are most important. Three feels really doable. You start doing like six, seven, like and we all know that we're doing that many things every day. Um, but you start choosing like six, seven, ten intentional things that you want to do each day. And when you get to the end of the day and those things aren't happening and you have to keep moving them to the next day and keep moving them to the next day, um, it can be hard to feel like you're being productive. Uh, maybe you are being productive, but just the visual of having so many things on your list um, can, can be really hard mentally. So I love the idea of choosing just three things because that's super doable. Um, let's look really quickly. So if you guys will go ahead and pull up your checklist, um, we're just going to walk through that really quick and, um, talk about some of these things that are on the list. So, uh, I like to break up my young living month into to thirds. So the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and then the end of the month. And that really helps me to organize um, the things that are most important. So we know the beginning of the month, there's lots of information being pushed out about promotions. Um, we're educating on the things, making sure people update their essential rewards orders. It's really kind of crazy. The end of the month, we're like wrapping things up. We're hustling. Um, in the middle of the month can seem kind of slow and like a drag, and maybe that's where you're stuck. Maybe you're not sure what to do with that time. So I've broken it up into thirds. Um, so let's talk about the beginning of the month. So you're going to want to announce your Young Living or, per or personal promos. And let me just say, with each of these, um, we're all going to be at different areas in our business. So, um, you know, maybe you're just starting out and you don't have much of a budget and you're looking at some of these things and you're like, I can't afford this. So we all have different budgets. Do Stay within your budget. Do what you can do. 
Um, and so all of these will kind of, you can tweak to apply to you. So for me, I'm announcing um, a Young Living promotion at the beginning of the month and my personal promotion for my team. Maybe you're at a place where you can announce your personal promo. Maybe you aren't doing personal promotions for your team yet, but you can let them know about my promotion or Rachel's promotion. Um, you can let your team know about the Young Living freebies that go out every month. Um, a great way to do this is through text or email, um, group message, however you're connecting with your team. Um, it's great to just make sure that your people know about all the specials. Um, then you want to create and announce your education schedule. So hopefully, if you guys want to peek a little bit at the end of the month, it says begin scheduling classes for the next month. So hopefully we're at the beginning of the month and you've already opened your calendar and you've chosen dates for this month that will work for classes. So what we want to do now is we want to start um, announcing where we're teaching, when we're teaching, and inviting our people, being intentional about personally inviting people, um, having your hosts, if you have hosts for the class, having them personally invite people, um, let them know what that looks like to not just um, simply invite your whole Facebook page, but to, to send a personal message um, or to personally speak to someone or send them a text. I like to create just a simple little graphic in canva.com or the app um, that, that has my class information and text that out to people. Um, lots of different ways that you can advertise that. But we want to make sure that we are advertising well at the beginning of the month so people put us on their calendar and they know that we are teaching. The next thing is send new member emails or make welcome calls. Again, this looks different. Um, anyone who enrolls on our team, on our Team Blankenship team the month before, they at the beginning of the month get a welcome email from me. And this just looks like um, some resources that I think are great to have when you're first starting out. I um, introduce myself and I, I talk about you guys. So if you enrolled them, your name's in there and I let them know like, hey, you know, Sarah is your first line of contact, but I am a second level of support if you ever need anything. Um, so I am just making sure that each person hopefully gets one touch um, that nobody falls through the cracks. Um, and then uh, making welcome calls. So I also try to do this. Our group is getting super big, so I'm behind. But um, if you have a smaller team, this is something that you could say, you know, um, I'm going to make one call a day and welcome a new member. Um, and I like to just ask them if they got their kit, if there's anything in their, you know, an oil that maybe they haven't opened yet or used, um, give them a way to use that oil and then listen for their needs. I like to really listen um, and see wh why did they get that kit? Why do they need oils? Um, and then make good notes. So in the in your, your virtual office, um, when I call a new member or I am Facebook messaging a new member, however I'm communicating with them, I like to go and find their account in virtual office. Um, I pull it up and you'll see that it has that section with like all their information. And then there's a section that says notes. That's a great place to record what you talked about. So I like to say, you know, called Sarah. Um, she's loving her kit. Didn't know how to use Copaiba. We talked about a few ways to use Copaiba. Um, she got into oils for um, pain and inflammation, wants to know about supplements that can help that, whatever. And so then I know the next time I talk to Sarah, I can pull up her account and reference our notes and um, maybe I can reference that call. I can, you know, check in and see how she's doing with um, her pain and inflammation support, whatever. Um, I can touch back with her and give her a list of um, supplements that are really great for pain and inflammation. Um, whatever that is, it just it's, it's a great way. Um, in the beginning, I thought that I could remember everything. And when you get 500 members, you really can't remember everything. It takes up a lot of brain space. So making good notes whenever you communicate with your people is a great way to free up some brain space um, and gives you talking points to follow up with people without feeling like, you're just checking in with them. Um, you can follow up with people and it helps you to be able to provide resources. So when I follow up with Sarah again, I can provide her some resources that she uh, requested regarding the supplements or, you know, whatever. Um, so I would, re I would encourage you guys to, to really make those notes as you talk to your people. And just a side note, some people are really scared to call people. Um, but I've maybe had one person who was like weirded out that I called them. Everybody else is really surprised and grateful and, um, you know, maybe they don't say too much, but um, I've had people message me and say, you know, thanks for connecting or um, just opening the doors for them to feel um, 
free to contact you in the future um, to, to start building a relationship and then to ultimately trust you. So hope that you guys will do that. It's a great way to uh, just connect with your new people. The next thing is send rank gifts or congratulation cards. Again, you might be in a place where you are like, I can't afford to send gifts right now. Um, for me, this looks like sending like a congratulations card to our new stars. We have so many new stars. Um, but everybody senior star and above gets a little gift from me and a little card. Um, just celebrating them. Everybody loves to be celebrated. Even that, if that's just a little card saying congratulations. Um, or even like for our stars, a lot of people don't know what that means to hit star. So even using that as an opportunity to um, send them a game plan mini and share like, hey, this is what the compensation plan looks like. This is why you're getting a check. Um, it's a great way to connect with those people. The next one is add your new members to the team pages, welcome them and tag them into the um, on the pin post. So we want to make sure that we are welcoming um, and adding people to the Facebook pages if that's something that they want to do. Uh, not just our personally enrolled members, but I like to, to check and make sure, you know, you might have somebody who's enrolling someone once every six months, kind of, you know, they're not really interested in the business side of it. Um, they're not like really checking in with their people or following up. Um, those are the people that we want to make sure that they are, are connecting their people to, um, that they know to connect their people to the Facebook pages. Um, those who are connected to our social media pages, hands down, the percentages of people, if, if you're connected versus not connected, um, who are reordering, who are getting on a century wards, the numbers are just, you can't even compare. Um, and that's because they're feeling a part of a team. They are um, being educated consistently. And um, they have a place to um, ask questions and research. So uh, that's really important. There's a pin post. Um, if you're on your phone, you, you don't see the pin post unless you say view pin post. There's a little button that you can click as soon as you get to the team page. If you're on your computer, it's the very first post that you see. And it's just, I've introduced myself. I tell them a little bit about our, the heart behind our team. And then I give them links to tons of resources. That's a great place to point them to as they start to learn. I hope you guys will all take advantage of that. Um, also, that Google Drive link, if you ever can't find it, it's in that pin post. Uh, the next thing is mail new member welcome gifts. Um, again, this one's going to look different for everybody. Uh, this is about like our, our follow-up. Um, this is how I follow up with new members, and it's helped our Essential Rewards percentage team-wide um, to be really high. Uh, compared to like the average like Young Living ER percentage. So we love following up, sending welcome gifts. Uh, for me, I wish I had them with me. Let me find a welcome gift. Mm. Yeah, I have one. So this is my um, month one welcome gift for my new members. And it just looks like I use Sarah Harnish's Fearless book. These are a dollar a piece if you buy them in bulk. If you are near other leaders, you can buy these in bulk and get a hundred of them for a dollar a piece. Makes it really inexpensive. It walks them through a lot of welcome things. It gives them some starter kit challenges at the end. So they get one of those. They're getting my business card. Um, they're getting, sometimes I send two roller bottles. Sometimes I send one. It depends how many I have in my stock. They're getting like 10 capsules from me and they are getting a little bottle of carrier oil. Um, V6 carrier oil, you can buy this from Young Living. It's great, it's my favorite carrier oil. Um, and maybe you're wondering like, oh, where'd she get those cute labels? All this stuff. Um, this is from a program called Bloom, The Ride to Wellness. You can find them on Facebook. All of these graphics are also in the Google Drive. And it's just some moms that got together and said, we wanna make following up really simple. Um, you can print this stuff out on your own paper, um, and then it has a list of supplies, and it gives you links to buy all the supplies. And what I love about the Bloom program is you can do as much or as little as you want to fit your budget. So that's what people get from me month one. Month two, they're getting a little sample of Thieves Cleaner, maybe Orange Blossom. Month three, depending on their needs, they might get like some animal scents or a, fit, um, a like body wash. And I'm sending a little bit of information from that Bloom program about essential rewards, um, about how to share their oils. So um, my new members, my personally enrolled members, are getting three months of gifts from me. So that's just a little way I like to um, follow up, introduce them to new products, um, introduce them to the idea that, that Young Living is a total body wellness company. 
uh, one of the questions that um, one of our leaders asked on the actual Zoom call was, do you ever send those welcome gifts to people outside of your personally enrolled? And the answer is yes. Um, sometimes I do. And that is if there is a leg that I have or a leader, maybe she's not really a leader yet, who um, isn't following up with her people, um, isn't you know reaching out, touching base, that kind of thing, uh, maybe that leg needs a little bit of love, then I will pick some people and send some welcome gifts to them. Um, when I do that, I normally just do the do the first month, and that's to make sure they um, feel feel connected, supported. They have my contact information, and I go ahead and make sure that that month they're getting information about essential rewards. Um, one thing I like to add in there, I thought I had one on the table. Hang on, um, it's just a little printout of like three months of a Century Rewards order that help you like go chemical free. So I'll put in a little, a few little things like that. Make this your own. Um, this is a great way to, to show your create creativity, um, to use your resources. Um, but love, love, love your people. It goes a long ways. Okay. Whew. We got through the beginning of the month. Now the middle of the month, this section of time that can feel like, what do I do? The hustle and bustle of the newness is over. We're not like yet to the like hustling in part. Um, so you'll see on the list that I talk a lot about connecting. This The middle of the month is the connection um, part of your month. You're going to connect with um, your ER members who maybe are starting to share. Maybe you have members who are making big orders and they're loving their products. Um, maybe they've mentioned that they take their diffuser to work, you know, those kind of things. Look for those people who are starting to love their products and don't be afraid to share the business opportunity with them. Don't be afraid to say like, Hey, you're loving your products. You're making, you know, switching, switching out the things in your home. You're making these big orders. Let's get your orders paid for. Um, so you can reach out to those people. You can connect with your leaders. I love spending a little time each week connecting with my leaders. This doesn't always mean about the business. Um, my leaders are my friends too, and so I love taking time to check in, see how their babies are, see how they're doing in school. Um, maybe I've noticed that they look like they're having a hard week. Um, those kind of things. Connect with your prospects. So hopefully you are continually updating that warm market list, those people that you know in your life uh, need oils. Um, everybody needs oils, so that, that that list can get pretty long. Um, but connecting with your prospects. One way to do this is you can go through your um, print out your Facebook friends list and highlight everyone who doesn't have oils yet and then circle those people that um, you've started connecting with. Interact with them some on their posts in a genuine way. Uh, we have one new member whose goal is to connect with like two or three of her Facebook friends every day in a genuine way. Not about Young Living. Um, how are you doing? Saw your daughter doing gymnastics. Mine too. Um, and she said, you know, really... I I, I want to expand my circle. I'm a mom who stays home a lot. I'd love to be building more relationships. Um, so even just out of a heart of building relationships, she's doing this. And um, we know that as we continue to expand our circles, that ultimately helps our business too. So good ideas there. Um, the very first one says send wellness plans, follow up with wellness plan participants. Um, some of you know what that is. I did a, a wellness plan um, like make a change in the new year wellness plan promotion at the beginning of the year. I think we did it in December into January. And this was a huge hit with connecting with people. I just sent them a survey. It was like a Google form survey. Um, and they filled it out. And it, they really talked about in the survey what their like top three um, wellness goals were. They told me a few more things. And then I created a three-month wellness plan. Uh, for them to do through Essential Rewards. So they needed to, A, either get on Essential Rewards and start ordering or utilize their Essential Rewards in a way that really met their needs. Um, so I, I made them a plan based on the needs, based on their survey that they gave me. Um, some people were really broad in their survey, so don't don't be afraid to reach out and say, hey, you know, I need a little clarification, clarification here or, or a little more specifics here to really help you. Um, but we got such great feedback with this. People loved having like a step-by-step -step plan. Um, they loved being introduced to new products. Again, showing them that Young Living is a total body wellness company. Um, and then it was a way for me to just connect with them on a genuine basis. Um, they saw this as a service. I was putting in time. Um, we are always wanting to communicate with people that this is more than just a sale to us. This is more than selling you a kit or a bottle of oils. 
um, our goal as a team and our um, one of the one of the mission points behind Oil Generations is we want to build generations of oilers. So that means coming alongside people for this journey um, and helping them to make it a lifestyle change. So I'm finding that the wellness plans are really equipping people to make lifestyle changes instead of just buying a kit and putting it on the shelf um, or buying a kit and using a few a few oils. So I've sent this information to a few people, but I have an email that, that really just like lays this out, super simple. I've got the Google form template, all the things that you need to implement this. So if this is something that you'd like to do, um, this is something that I'm doing with my new members. Um, for every single one of them, I'm offering this, this plan to them like their second month. So the first month I'm getting them introduced to their oils, I'm helping them open their kit, all of that. And then their second month, I introduce them to the wellness plan option. So I'm doing this with them. I'm also looking within my downline strategically and saying, you know, who is kind of disconnected? Where are my zero PVers? Where are my people who, you know, came in strong and are maybe backed off? Um, so it's a great way to use a strategic thing to, to connect with your people. So that's middle of the month. Connect, connect, connect. Be reaching out. Be following up. Um, all those good things. Okay. End of the month is here and you're hustling. Whew. What makes it nice is if you are doing these things in the middle of the month, the beginning of the month, you get to the end and then it's not this crazy like fret of trying to do all the things. Um, you've got a list of things to do. It does get a little busier. Um, but if you're really working through some of this stuff before the end of the month, then it, it doesn't look so crazy and your month is way more productive. So we want to make sure we're following up with all of our class attendees. So anyone who showed up to your class who got a kit, those who left, who left without a kit, um, listen for their needs, find out how you can um, really connect with them on a personal level and share the value of the kit based on their needs. And um, we all know that that's the best way to get started, the best way to, um, for like longevity in this, um, in this program, in this lifestyle change. So also just a tip, if you're doing like online classes or if you created an event online for like an in-home class, anyone who said they were going or who said maybe, or interested, whatever that looks like, I follow up with all of those people. If they took the time to click yes, or maybe you're interested, whatever, that means that there's at least a little spark of interest. They're curious, um, and that opens a window for follow-up. So make sure you're following up with all of those people. The next thing is find your money missers, money missers, and share that opportunity. And um, if you are using the Oily Tools app, there's a section in there that just says, um, let me try to pull it up. It's in, let's see, it's in the, um, you go to the, the little section with like three bars. I don't know if you can see that. So three bars down there. And then it says money misser. So it's under like reports, money misser. And that tells me who currently right now is missing commission dollars um, because A, they haven't placed an order or maybe they didn't place a high enough order. So we all know to get full commissions, you need to place a 100 PV order. Um, so that that little tool gives me that. You can also look that up through a report in a virtual office. But I like to follow up with those people and just make sure that they understand um, what they're missing, what the opportunity is. The next thing is find leaders who are close to ranking up. Again, you can run this report in your virtual office. I like to say like members and then their OGV is less than or equal to 500 and then add another thing is greater than or equal to 350 and then it's going to give me this window of people who are really close to hitting star. You can change those numbers again for, for senior star and, and on up. Uh, but that's a great opportunity again to be like, hey, you're really close. This is what it means to rank up, um, etc. Um, the next thing is start thinking about your promotions for the next month. Start thinking about your classes for the next month. Open that calendar. Get those on the books. Um, connect with those people who are about to go inactive. Um, on the dashboard of your virtual office, there's a little list that says, um, like, about to go inactive or something. And there's a big number that you can click on, and it shows you a list of people who are about to lose their membership because they haven't placed at least 50 PV worth of orders in the last year. So... Uh, right now is a great opportunity. We're currently in uh, the February flash promo sale. Um, that's a great opportunity to reach out to those people who are about to go inactive or maybe who have gone inactive and want to reactivate their membership. Uh, and then tie up any loose customer service ends. If you have people who um, haven't got their, their orders or 
um, who have reached out to you about calling in living, any of those kind of things. Make sure that you are answering those questions. If you don't know, reach out. Uh, we want to make sure that our people feel um, loved and supported. Okay, you made it through the month. At the bottom, you'll find a list of daily tasks. These aren't things that you have to do every day, but if you're looking for um, suggestions to put on your like pick three tasks, um, this is a great list to, to choose from. Find missing essential reward orders and communicate. This is something that I do every single day. Um, the night before, so say like the 31st of the month, I am looking on the virtual office at everybody who's going to process on the first. And I am just going through the little square next to their name and looking and see what they have chosen like how much PV is going to process. If somebody's at like 184, man, they are six PV away from getting the 190 PV promo staff. So I contact that person or I contact the leader who can contact that person and just let them know like, hey, saw you were six PV away. Wanted to make sure that you knew about Young Living's also awesome promotion this month. This is what you'd be missing. People are so grateful for that. Um, so, so make sure you're doing that every day. And then the next morning, after those orders have processed, I check it again to make sure that there weren't any errors or skips or that anything looks funny. Um, you have a really short window if there's like an error or if an order processes below um, like 50 or 100 PV or below like a, the next promotion level. There's a really short window for you to call in living and get things added to their orders. So I like to check that in the morning so that I can connect with people who maybe fell below something. Um, that's a great opportunity to show them how to sign up for PV Assistant too, so that doesn't happen in the future. That's something that I do every evening and every morning. Um, the next thing is adding to your warm market list, uh, people you talk to at the grocery store, moms that you met at the park, um, the new coworker, whoever. Um, engage prospects, ask to share about products. Um, that's samples, inviting people to look at the business opportunity, finding a need. Um, I am always listening for needs. You know, I'm, I'm in a mom's group and moms are talking about their baby's not sleeping or um, you're at work and people are talking about being stressed. Like whatever, listen for those needs and um, think about ways that you can help meet those needs in a really practical, loving way. Educate and inspire your existing members. Answer all your, all your members' questions. Um, post and engage on social media. This looks like practically you can do this... Um, what is her book? I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, drawing a blank on her book, a social media book. I will post it in the comments. That's really, really good. Um, wish I could think of it right now. But getting noticed by, can't remember her name, but getting noticed, look that up. It's so good if you are like hesitant at all about how to share about your business on social media. She does a great job of explaining it and making it really easy um, and really approachable. So we like to say every like fourth or fifth post can be about your business. So like every four posts that you make, um, you can throw in a business post. And sometimes, almost all the time, we want this to look like a per like a personal way you are sh you are like using your products. Um, so like I cleaned my bathtub today. This thieves soft scrub rocked it. Or um, sometimes it can be really subtle, like you're posting about your daughter playing, and there's a diffuser in the background. Uh, lots of ways to incorporate your business without it coming off as like salesy, like buy this kit or sale today or things like that. People really connect with ways that you are personally using the products, things that they can relate to. So be sure that you are using social media. It is free. Stories um, are free. So use that avenue for sure. Um, I like to spend time praying for my team and my leaders and then make sure that you're making time for personal development. I cannot stress this enough. I know we are busy um, but maybe that's a podcast while you're cooking dinner or, or um, a 12 Days of Diamond video. You know, you don't have to watch the video. You can listen to it while you're driving down the road. Um, if you are not on the 12 Days of Diamond Facebook page, there is like a year's worth of content that they put up in December that you can um, access as you can. Such good information from leaders at every stage, from every avenue of life who have rocked this business and make it work. So that's a great personal development. Um, if you haven't read the book Soup, uh, that one is one of my favorites. The Go-Giver is really good. Um, the book that I just referenced about social media is really good. 
Um, if you're looking for personal development suggestions, please reach out. We've got a lot of great things to keep your mind engaged, um, to spur on creativity, lots of things, um, and to help um, build you as a leader and um, ways to help encourage your team members. So optional ex extras at the bottom. This gives you a great, you can print this off every single week, check things off, make it work for you, make it personal, uh, make it work for you. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was about my promotion this month. Um, if you're listening to this months or years later, this is not going to apply, but for February 2018, I am doing an enroller promotion. So um, anyone who enrolls five people, y'all, anyone, this is not a drawing, anyone who enrolls five people this month, um, you guys know we just released the Savvy Starter Kit, the, the Makeup Starter Kit, lots of great options. Anyone who enrolls someone with a Premium Starter Kit, so that's oils, that's Thieves Cleaner Starter Kit, that's Nimsha Starter Kit, that's the Makeup Starter Kit, um, gets a Premium Starter Kit from me. I will gift you a kit. Uh, why is that awesome? You can use it as um, to teach with. You can use it as what we call a flip kit to take to a class and be able to hand somebody their kit right then. They mail their kit to your address, but they get to go home with a kit, which is really awesome. Um, or you can just use it to have another diffuser and 11 oils at your house. That's really great too. So anyone who does the five enrollees gets it. So say no one enrolls five members this month. Um, say we have someone that enrolls four members or we have two people that enroll four members, then it'll be a drawing. Then I will um, draw from those top, top enrollers and uh, that person will get a kit. So I'm giving away a kit as long as somebody enrolls three or more people. And the next thing is if you enroll two people, I am giving you a month membership to Grow Workspace. Um, it's a new resource out there that is really awesome. I've, I've been a member now for a few months and it's got um, some tools and videos to go through if you are a new member. And then it's got a business section that walks you through some really basic things. It's got free class materials. It's really cool. So I'm giving you a month membership of that if you enroll two people this month. Um, Y'all, schedule your classes. Get out there. Um, make the most of your time. Choose your three things every single day. You can make this work no matter what you're doing. No matter if you are drowning in diapers, y'all. You can make this work. No matter if you are working a 40, 60 hour week, you can do this in the small nuggets of time and make this work. Um, so I pray over you guys today that this is um, a blessing to your business. Reach out to me if you still need some tips. If Reach out to me if you still need some encouragement about how to make this work for you and your family. Um, I can't wait for next month. So y'all let me know what kind of things do you want to talk about. I hope you'll sit in live with us um, so you can interact with the other leaders on the team. It's really fun. Um, but I will talk to you guys in March. Okay, bye.